Welcome back, everyone. Laos Chapter 2, Into the Mountains. We started in Via Ten and headed off to the mountains to get to our next adventure. We're headed to... Bang Bien. Bang Bien. We made it to Vang Bieng, and this was our view from our balcony at our hotel. It's a cute little town, right on the river. Uh, I think we should stay here forever. <laughs> this place was instantly captivating. It's a millionaire. rented a scooter the next day and took off on this road that goes back to these lagoons. There's a series of lagoons, I think there's over five or six, maybe more, that are at the base of these huge, beautiful mountains. So we took off on our scooter, drove about 20 minutes to the first one. Behind this lagoon, there's this huge cave system, which no one was really going up this trail, so we were pretty much alone up here. The further down we went, the further we realized that it kept going. Yeah. And then when we looked back, there was arrows pointing back even farther. Naturally, we followed along and stumbled into this giant cave. I can't explain just how big this cave was. We had two lights and that was it. It was pitch black, dead silent, and so still. Oh, I can still remember the feeling and the smell. These caves are completely unregulated. There was a few other people from time to time, but we were pretty much on our own. It was actually kind of eerie and scary to be alone so far back there. I was trying not to think of all the creepy, scary cave movies I'd ever seen. So we were trying to be really careful and not get hurt or anything. But at one point when we were trying to leave, we actually got lost and got completely turned around and in a full circle. But this cave turned out to be a huge highlight for this trip, so definitely recommend going splunking if you're in Laos. Love the jungle. How much is your spirit? So after wandering around that cave for about an hour, we took off again on our scooter to go further into the mountains. We were trying to find a waterfall that we found on Maps Me, but we ended up getting kind of lost and turned around, but found a really cool trail anyways. back roads there's little villages scattered about with wildlife and people and little schools and kids playing in the street it was so beautiful
morning we took off to go tubing down the river in Bang Yang. So we rented some tubes. I think they were just like two dollars for the day. Float. So this river used to be famous for all the bars that you could stop at <laughs> along the way, but there was a lot of accidents with tourists. Um, so they shut a lot of them down. So I think there's only two left, which we stopped at one of them, which happened to be right at the beginning of the float. And we're stopping at our first bar, right there. Right there. So we floated for not even 30 seconds. Andre got to play beer pong for the first time ever. We had a little dance and we went on our way. Further down the river, you can see zip liners, and that's where we stopped to go tubing inside of a cave, which we had really no idea what we were getting ourselves into, but we heard about it online and had to, to go do? for ourselves. We're going in the dark cave. <laughs> we got our lights, got our tubes, and went back into yet another cave. So once again, this cave was unregulated. There's an entrance point where we started and an exit point further down where there's just a set of stairs and you're supposed to follow up and exit the cave, but there's no one there and there's no sign saying you can't keep going. So we kept going, which was completely dark. Every corner you go around, it just gets wider. There's parts you kind of have to crawl through a little bit. It was insane. Okay, it got a little bit scary about a half hour back when bats started flying down at us and the air started to get really thin and just like got a little bit wigged out. So we decided to turn around and float back down the river through this cave, but it was still one of the coolest experiences I think I've ever had. So after floating, we went back to our hotel and changed and jumped on the scooter to try to catch the sunset at this mountain that you can climb up. <laughs> oh my God. It's a bit of a hike. Definitely recommend good shoes or vans, whatever you have. just in time for the sunset. Oh, this was a really, really good day. just a couple days here we were completely captivated we really didn't want to leave even the view from our hotel was stunning so I had to take out Joan the drone for a little flight so there's still a whole chapter left in Laos all the temples the markets the Buddha garden Make sure to subscribe and follow along to see our final chapter. As always, thanks for watching, safe travels, and cheers to you all.